This video describes new enhancements to SteadyRest programming, now available in Esprit. With the new SteadyRest enhancements in Esprit, you can now efficiently program a turret-mounted SteadyRest. You can also now couple the support device with a linear axis to provide additional support during a workpiece reposition between spindles, or to stay near the tool during cutting to minimize part deflection on long, cylindrical parts. To introduce these enhancements, the first example will show how to mount a steady rest device to a turret station, reviewing the steady rest repositioning and clamping controls, how to couple the steady rest to the subspindle's linear axis to support a long cylindrical workpiece during a part transfer. Expanding on this last point, we'll look at another example where the steady rest is coupled with the tool, following the tool motion while still providing support. Just a quick note. Independently mounted steady rests, which have their own exclusive linear axis, get mounted the same way as in previous releases. New in this release is the ability to mount the device to a turret. When you select a station on a turret, the steady rest command in the tooling ribbon becomes available. Click on this command and browse to your steady rest GDML fixture file. You can see that the steady rest is mounted on the selected station, and we can now start programming operations. To do so, simply select the Steady Rest operation in the Turning Ribbon tab. Like with an independent Steady Rest, you add device actions to the list individually until the entire desired sequence is fully defined. Move items up and down the list as needed with the arrow buttons. The Clamp and Unclamp commands control the opening and closing actions. The Move X, Y, and Z commands give you explicit control over the positional motion. Specify the desired motion type as either Rapid or Feed. You can also specify the desired position via machine or part coordinates, or return an axis to its respective home position. Additionally, you can couple the device to a specific linear axis with the couple and decouple commands. Let's go ahead and program the first steady rest position in our program. We've already created a simple lathe contouring operation to ensure that the raw material is prepared for the steady rest, generating a true concentric diameter for clamping. Insert a new steady rest operation after the steady rest band turning operation. To start, we'll unclamp the device and then program the positional motion in Z, then X. For both positional moves, we'll digitize a point on the part center line as the desired clamping location. The system automatically retains the appropriate value for that given axis. The last action is clamping. Note that the order of commands is important, as it's the exact order in which they'll be executed in both the simulation and NC code. In simulation, you can see the turret indexing, the steady rest positioning, and then clamping the workpiece for the machining operation. Next, we'll program the steady rest to continue supporting the workpiece during a part transfer. Insert a new steady rest operation after the pickup operation. Like with the previous example, we'll start by unclamping the device, then specifying a new Z position near the back of the workpiece, then reclamp. We'll also add a couple action. The couple action synchronizes the upcoming reposition motion from one spindle to another with the turret Z axis, maintaining support of this long slender workpiece during the entire transfer sequence. In the simulation, notice that the steady rest takes position near the back of the workpiece and moves with the subspindle as it returns to its respective home position. In our second example, we'll demonstrate coupling the steady rest with the turret axis. To do this, simply add a couple cycle and pair the steady rest with the turret axis. Here, we couple the device with the ATC Z axis. As you can see in the simulation, the steady rest follows the tool during the machining process. To fully machine this part's OD contour, the steady rest is repositioned in front of the tool near the center of the workpiece. The unclamp, clamp, position, decouple, and couple steady rest actions are programmed between the two separate turning operations. Note that to perform this type of strategy, your machine might need to be equipped with special spherical steady rest rollers and other control options. To summarize, you can now mount a steady rest on a turret and couple or decouple it with available linear axes, such as turret or spindle axes, within Esprit. This gives you better control over holding long and heavy cylindrical workpieces. Thank you for watching this Esprit product feature video. For more information on this and other Esprit features, refer to the release bulletin and product help.